Hello, my name is Law and today I'm just going to do a very basic quick tutorial on Logic Pro X Arpeggitator. So I've got a basic synth lead um, just playing chords which you can see here and I'm going to add the arpeggitator to it. So if we go here to MIDI effects click down to arpeggitator and first of all just have a quick look at some of the functions on it so you can see here uh, we've got rate at the moment it's on 16th notes and it can go 64 it can go down to quarter notes, half notes, dotted, triplets. So if we keep it on the eighth dotted for now and move on to these buttons here. So the first one is up and that will just play the notes upwards. The second one is down, that will just play the notes downwards. The third one is up and down so it combines them both together. The fourth one, this is outside in. Now this plays the outside notes and then moves to the inside notes. Okay. Um, this one here is random, this will just play the notes in random. And then you've got the hand function. And this here, it will play the notes in order that they were triggered. Okay? So that my first chord is an A minor chord. I played the notes in E, A and C. So that's the order that the notes will play when that button is clicked. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through, play some of examples of this. Also here you've got different variations and also you've got different octave ranges as well. So we'll start with up, we'll leave it on the eighth here, dotted, we'll keep it variation one and octave range one. If I move now to the down I'm going to change the variation to 2 I'm going to change the rate as well We'll go down to quarter notes I'm going to change the octave range to 2 I'm now going to go to this up and down I'll go to variation 3 I'm now going to go to the outside in if I go down to Quarter notes will have variation one, and let's take the octave range to three. So you can see here now that it's going over three octaves. Now go to the random button. I'm going to go here to the sixteenth. I'm going to go to variation three, octave range two. And if I go here to options, I'm just going to add a little bit of swing. Bring that down and go back to pattern. Um, and now I shall go to the hand. 
Let's go up to range four. So there you have it. That's just a basic uh, tutorial of the arpeggiator. Thank you.